Okay, so I am going to see how quickly I can walk through the Make Human um, to Mixamo to um, import into New Art City Pipeline. So there's a couple different character building tools I've given you all. This one, uh, I'll demo Make Human, which is in some ways kind of the most complex, or at least gives you the most amount of options, but needs a little bit more um, kind of hand holding along the way. So when you open up Make Human, if you download on an Apple, you'll need to like right click and then um, say, you know, open and kind of bypass some of the security, uh, but it's just the right click or control click and you can do that. So I'm going to say, let's see, uh, when you come in, let's see, where are we? To a new, let's say, Open. Okay, so um, Make Human is going to give you a little bit more control over your character building, but it is a little bit, has a little, way more features and that that's more, is a little bit more complicated. So if you open it up on an Apple for the first time, you're going to need to like find the, the icon in your applications and then right click and then say open and then there's a couple like bypass um, um, options for the security warning and there's information about how to do that on make humans um, wiki site and so if you go to make human do that make human <laughs> keeps on I'm losing my cursor because oh, sorry, I'll, I will just wait until it's open. I'm using a depreciated version and older version, but it, more or less, it's uh, I use both. It's more or less the same. So by default, you're kind of down the middle on gender, age, muscle, weight, height, proportions, and then some kind of cultural identifiers. And again, like like all things, these are generalized <laughs> and not specific, but it might be useful for you to kind of play around with. So if you kind of move between gender, you, you move between kind of more female, typically female um, uh, identifying features. Same with age, you go from baby to, to kind of like you see the body start to kind of change proportions as the, the body ages, um, muscle and, and then kind of just body mass stuff too. You can, you can play around with that. Um, I'm going to leave it down the center for now. You can also go into these, uh, this bottom tab and get really specific about some of the anatomical features. <laughs> you can also go in the same thing about face. You can like change the kind of like shape of the head. You can see the jaw kind of growing, um, there and then like angle of the face so that that is better to go into side view so you can kind of see how the angle of the face changes and then you can go back into front view and play around with kind of face shape too so i'm going to leave again not going to do too much but you can play around with like torso arms and legs like you know even like fingers um uh there's some custom custom features that you can use anyway i'm not going to go into those but you can also add clothes under geometries and I think in the updated versions they might have some more more clothing options um, you can add like go in and add high poly or low poly eyes I'm going to use the defaults I'll give it a bob and you can go super dialed in we won't need any teeth for this unless you have your your character um, smiling for in, in instance there are some like uh, facial like uh, settings you can give different kind of positions to the face um i'm not gonna use any topologies i'm not gonna add any eyebrow well let's see what happens when i add an eyebrow and then eyelashes um i'm not gonna add any eyelashes and then tongue and that's usually like if your character is going to be speaking and opening their mouth you might want to add a tongue for our purposes i'm not going to need to do that um, under materials you can go in and add skin uh, like different skin features let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see when I switch between the, these um, textures, you can uh, change change out your your the skin um, image texture. All right, so that's all we need to do. I'm, I just went in and, and played around, added some clothing, added some hair. Um, if you want, you can go in and play around with like eye color, um, 
change that to brown, whatever, uh, these, these defaults. And then uh, once you're happy with your model, you'd want to go into files and then export. We're going to export as an FBX model. So we're going to say export. We're going to choose this film box, FBX. And then all of the, the, the defaults are fine uh, for now. And then you want to select where your file will be saved by clicking on those little ellipses. I'm going to go into this folder. I'm going to say art. 175 mix mo test 2 and then create and I'll name this um, art 175 rh uh, suit with a bob haircut and from a human and it's the FBX so we say save and then it tells me where it's been exported to. Then I can just double check that it actually in, did indeed go there. This is actually that file. And uh, when it exports, I get this FBX file and then uh, the image texture folder. So this is like the image textures for the eyebrows and then for the eyes and for the hair and uh, like the skin. So this is what we were choosing when we were choosing those between those kind of skin textures. And then this is the suit. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a dark suit. Uh, I'm going to import this into Mixamo. So if you um, go into Mixamo and you need to sign in, I just signed in using my um, SJSU account, um, you will say upload character. And I can go in, you can see it'll upload FBX, OBJ, and a zip file. I'm going to uh, select the FBX file and import here. And it wasn't showing me when I did my test uh, before, it wasn't showing me image textures for the FBX file um, in Mixamo. But when I brought that back into to Blender, it, it worked fine. So yeah, they, it just looks like a default, but um, it worked fine for me. All right, so now we're going to need to place uh, little uh, positional markers on the chin, on the wrists, elbows, knees, and groin. So I can say chin, and I can drag it, and I see a little preview up top, so I can help that can help me place it. And then wrists, I'm going to place here. And you see, I have use symmetry turned on. If you have an asymmetrical model, turn that off and you can place these one at a time. With it turned on, it will uh, place, use the kind of uh, symmetry line here down the center and place both right and left markers at the same time. Oh, that was elbows. <laughs> Can't talk and do this at the same time. So elbows and then knees. And I'm just clicking on those uh, little targets and dragging and then groin. All right, and that all looks good. Defaults are fine. I can get, say next, and then it, it takes a, a few minutes to process. It says it, under the instructions for best um, effect, make sure that your model's all one model, not like separate parts, um, that they're not kind of like hanging off, like the head isn't floating above the body. I think it does a pretty good job, especially with humanoid forms. Um, it, it can even do some funny things with like, you know, non-humanoid forms. I think like Dawn Don was testing it with cats and stuff. So that would be a fun test. But with like a humanoid form like this, it does a pretty good job. And that, then you can say review. That looks great. And say next. Uh, proceed with this new character, your previous character. That's fine. I, that was a test before. And uh, then you can go into animations here and see all of these different, you know, poses that you can apply to the character. I think I liked the following. It gives us a lot of like nice like height differential. So the character kind of teeters and then like ends up falling. So great. So um, I'm fine with the defaults for now. Um, she's doing something that I, I can't see. Let's see, there we go. That's a big fall, big fall, great big fall. And then stand back up. Teeters again. And then I'm going to say download. So when I tried the import um, 
directly into New York City from Mixamo. Um, I, it didn't get great results. It was either failing to bring in image textures or like the mesh was kind of funny. So as a precautionary method, I'm going to open this falling FBX in um, Blender, and then I'm going to import it into Blender, and then I'm going to export as a GLTF file from Blender. So let's see here. This is my previous uh, character. I'm just going to move, move back kind of away from the center. You can see they're kind of lined up here. I'm going to say File, Import FBX. And then I can find my mm, test two. I actually think it just went to downloads. I didn't actually specify, did I? That's not good. Let's see if I can find falling. I'll put that into my test two folder. And there's my falling FBX, import FBX. And I can scrub through down here to kind of test the play back, or I can press play right here. So cool. You can see that there's another animation on this character back here. Looks great. Okay, I'm going to say stop. You don't need to. Looks good. I'm just testing to make sure that the image textures are there and that the animation is there. I'm not going to touch anything. Everything that I want to export is selected, is selected. I'm going to say File, Export, and I'm going to export this as a GLTF. And I'm going to put it in my test too. I'm going to call it Bob Mixamo. This is Falling. And I'm just letting it, like in my file name, I'm just, you know, what the thing is, where it came from, what it then imported into, which position or animation, and then indicating that it's been exported out of Blender again. And I want to make sure that I'm including um, the selected objects only, things like cameras and lights, you know, might mess up the scene if we don't want them. Um, the geometry, I've got the, um, the defaults here are fine. And I wanted to make sure that the animation, shape keys and skinning is being exported so that all the animation uh, gets put into the file. Say export. And once this is finished packaging, then the next step is to bring it into New Art City um, and just test to make sure that everything came through. These files were not huge. Let's see if I can find them. So in test one, this is the GLTF that I ended up using, and it's 16.6 .6 megabytes. Right? So we're, I think we're trying to stay at a less than 100 per room. Um, not really sure how New York City will handle that once we get into the kind of like uh, actual design of the, the build, the factory floor, but defaults for now are fine. All right, so that uh, is done exporting. I'm going to uh, open New York City. And when you log in in New York City, you'd want to go into your, make sure you're logged in and go into your dashboard. We're in Factory of the Sun Summer Students. And I'm going to say, uh, click on the sandbox one and say edit. And I've, for right now, I've just turned uh, off uh, the all of our previews just so we can start uploading um, and save file space, right? So right now we're, we're at zero uh, megabytes. And yeah, the optimal is less than 40 megabytes, but the mobile cutoff is 150 megabytes. I'm going to say upload artwork. I'm going to say upload art file. Um, this is, this GLTF is the one that I want. Open, and it will process for a bit. Okay, and um, uh, it'll take a second to, to preview. Um, it looks like I'm not getting the preview here. I should be seeing something. Let's see what it looks like. This is RH test two. Okay, it didn't preview. Um, it could just be that the like it, the preview is centered on a, a position where <laughs> the character was not. Uh, we, we can't really kind of rotate around. So um, 
but here is our character so we can like drag them so that they're kind of like standing on the floor make sure you find that that floor space and then we can right click rotate right click to scale and let's see grab our character scale them right click again try to get cat find the character when they're like standing up in that kind of first section that's a good um, foot plane to find so stable enough to give you enough time to kind of play around and that's the that's the process um, so this is um, again starting with make human and working through the um, Mixamo and then back into to Blender for the export and then importing into New Art City. But uh, this is a great and quick way to get a bunch of like interesting animations on, on our characters. All right, uh, I will probably run another one for a couple of the other character animations, but this gives us a good baseline and place to start. I'll see you later. Take care.